Hey everyone, in this video we will be solving the pause and egg exercise in the Java warm-up one section of codingbat.com. Let's get started. Given two int values, return true if one is negative and one is positive. Except if the parameter negative is true, then return only true if both are negative. So let's write this out. We're going to start with the second case first. So we're, if negative equals true. What do we want to do? Well we want to return true if a and b are both negative, because negative is specified as true. So if a is less than zero and b is less than zero. Else, in the case of negative being false, what do we want to do? We want to return true if a is negative and b is positive, so it would be b is greater than or equal to zero, or a is positive, which would be greater than or equal to zero, and b is negative, which is less than zero. So let's write out our if statement. We'll start with if negative, which would be true if they pass in true for negative, or false if they pass in false. And what we want to do here is return what we wrote down below. So return a is less than zero, which would mean a is negative, and b is less than zero, which would mean it's negative. That statement is done. Then we'll have an else, which would be in case of negative is false. And what we want to do here is return if a is negative and b is positive, or if a is positive and b is negative. And that's how you complete this exercise. Let's test it out. Everything's correct. There are a couple ways to optimize this. As you can see, we return a result after the if statement, so we don't actually need this else because it'll just move on to the next return statement if it doesn't return. So we can get rid of that. That's one optimization. Let's test that out. Correct. There is also another optimization, but it's one super long line of code. I will write it out for you, but it's a lot more confusing than this. It combines both statements into one super long one line statement. I'm not recommending it because it will be kind of hard to read. I will just write this out. What we want to do is return the evaluation of if negative is true and a is less than zero and b is less than zero or not negative and a is less than zero and b is greater than or equal to zero or a is greater than or equal to zero and b is less than zero. And we'll close off these right there. That is the one line of code. Spell that right. And it works. That's all for this tutorial. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.